Welcome back Vivos. After the installation of Ubuntu desktop on Linux Mint 21.2, we have re rebooted and this is the greeter screen. On the greeter screen, you can see you have got the cinnamon session, cinnamon session with the software rendering. Then you have got Gnome, Gnome on XOR, Ubuntu and Ubuntu on XOR. So what has happened is, when we install this Ubuntu uh, desktop, it has also pulled the uh, Gnome uh, vanilla, I think it is the vanilla Gnome session that was also pulled up. So it has installed the vanilla Gnome also along with the Ubuntu. So anyway, we wanted to install and check out the Ubuntu desktop on Linux Mint 21.2. So we are uh, doing the experiment and let us see whether the experiment has succeeded. So we are going to log in to the Ubuntu. I think this is the Ubuntu Wayland session. So let us hope for the best that the desktop is properly installed. And normally what you have to do is whenever uh, you install any other desktop, you have to remove the older desktops. So for example, uh, once you have installed the Gnome desktop, you have to boot into the Gnome desktop. Okay, the, uh, the Gnome desktop is working. Then in the same boot, you either uninstall the Cinnamon desktop or in the next boot you have to do it because uh, keeping uh, multiple desktops is not a good idea because the config files can conflict and then the one of the desktop or all, all the desktops can misbehave that is they won't render properly they will have graphics problem all other kinds of problems sometimes the login problems also come up so now you have got a so this is uh, the uh, what we can say the first uh, login experience so you it will show you the tour it will ask you to do some settings so anyway you are going to skip it so this is the help so send a system info to canonical yes so this is a welcome app of ubuntu so location services yes that's it so you are ready to go and also if you want you can install uh, the software from the Gnome software store and we are not going to do that. So here you can see the dash is there on the left hand side vertical dash is there the typical home folder is there this is the default setting so you got a home folder on the Gnome desktop then the activities uh, button is there in the center you got the notifications area events and the calendar and you can see the Gnome software update has started some 767.9 MB of uh, downloads will be done so most of these downloads will come uh, let me check what kind of downloads are there of course these downloads uh, will be from the yes so you can see the Ubuntu base also is getting updated so this downloads will be from the Ubuntu uh, repos and some might be from the uh, Linux Mint repos. So anyway, it is going to work properly because uh, Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, Ubuntu is based on Debian. So those should work. You can see here, this is the typical uh, settings menu for the Ubuntu Gnome desktop. Now let us check out the application. So you can see all these are typical applications found in a Ubuntu desktop. All those have been installed and some of the applications will be from the Sediment desktop. So when, what happens is when you got two or more uh, uh, this uh, desktops, then the applications related to the other desktop will also be shown. So this firewall configuration, uh, it is from the Sediment desktop and not from the Ubuntu desktop. Hexchat is also from the Sediment desktop that is the Linux Mint. You can see it here. The LibreOffice suite is common in both software when your software sources. This is all from the Ubuntu. Redshift is also from the Ubuntu. Remina is from the I think Remina is from the Linux Mint. Shortwell will be from the Ubuntu Gnome Desktop. Mines also from uh, Ubuntu Gnome Desktop. Onward will be there from the Linux Mint Desktop. So here the software updater is now from the Ubuntu. Synaptic package manager also it is I think from uh, either from the Mint or from the Gnome desktop. Text editor is from the Gnome desktop that is from the Ubuntu. 
and Linux Mint welcome screen is there. Web apps is from the Linux Mint. Warpinator is from the Linux Mint. The USB image writer. This should be, I think, from the Linux Mint only. Update manager is from the Linux Mint. Transmission, I think it is common with both. To-do list is from the GNOME desktop. So you can see here, uh, it is a, a merging of two uh, desktops. And very beautifully, both the desktops, that is the Ubuntu GNOME desktop and the Linux Mint uh, Tenement desktop applications and settings are merged together to create some some we can say some kind of hybrid desktop and it is working perfectly there is no issue now let us check out the backgrounds so what backgrounds are available so this is the cinnamon wallpaper we can see and you can see here the genome desktop wallpapers will also come up let us check so uh, mostly it is from cinnamon only there should be uh, Ubuntu wallpapers also. I think they will come at the end. We will just scroll down. Yes, so this, here you can see these are the Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu GNOME desktop wallpapers. So typical wallpapers are there. So this is the wallpaper from the Ubuntu GNOME desktop. So that is uh, very nice. We can see here we have just uh, merged the two desktops. So the applications, the settings, everything has merged. It's kind of hybrid desktop. And this is the default uh, Ubuntu GNOME desktop. And the GNOME desktop is working properly. There is no issue at, as such, I can see. And then let us check out the appearance section. So the light and dark uh, themes or styles are there. You can see it here. Personal folder, we can shut it off. We can shut off the panel mode. Yes, you can see that the panel mode goes away and it becomes a dock. So the Ubuntu uh, GNOME desktop settings are working perfectly. I can say show on the primary display left, you can have it at the bottom. So everything is working perfectly and then we close the panel mode. So now the dock mode is there. Also, you can install the GNOME extensions also. Those will also work. There is no issue. And then now we check about the about section. You can see here the OS name is Linux Mint, but the desktop is from Ubuntu along with the Ubuntu settings. So that is a very good uh, experiment that we did uh, today. In the last video, we installed the Ubuntu GNOME desktop using the terminal in Linux Mint 21.2. And now we have just realized and checked out the Ubuntu GNOME desktop. Uh, this is the Ubuntu GNOME desktop of the 22.04 LTS uh, Ubuntu ISO. Same what you get in the ISO, it is there here. We have installed it using the terminal. So I think with this, uh, we will stop the video here. See in the next video where we will try to install the Budgie desktop and check out whether the Budgie desktop works or not in the Linux Mint 21.1. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.